Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Alex, the Comic Quarter. Right now, I'll be doing a contest entry for Silver Age Dave, and this is how I sort my comics. Here we go. Silver Age Dave is already at 292 subscribers in only five months. So huge congratulations on that, and then huge congratulations in advance on 300 subs. You're gonna get there like this week. If you guys could, go to his page. I'll leave the link in the description below, but check out his page, subscribe to him, and hit that bell to be notified when he uploads more awesome content. All right, so here are the rules. You have to be 18 years of age or older. You have to be subbed to Silver Age Dave. International shipping is to be determined. You have to like his video, his contest video, comment with a link if you made a video, and then share and shout out. Those are optional things, and you can only win once. Uh, there's some extra rules there for uh, special, uh, special circumstances, and then how to do the contest. You have to uh, talk about how you file and store your collection and an overview of your collection and then shout out a new YouTuber. All right, you guys, so for this video, what I'm gonna be showing you is how I file and how I store my comic books. And usually it's not rocket science for me. What I do is if, it, if it's a book that I really like and it's going into my personal collection, I'll throw it into Mylar. I usually use E Gerber My Lights 2s with fullback standard size. So it fits usually anything Silver Age, uh, Bronze Age, Modern Age, not Golden Age. Golden Age, you'll have to go for the silver and gold uh, for those E-Gerbers. But then I throw them into a corresponding Marvel box, DC box, or independent box. Now, currently I have six boxes for Marvel, four boxes for DC, and two boxes for independent. All right, so I grabbed one of each box. I grabbed a DC box, a Marvel box, and an independent box. And I'm gonna show you some of the highlights of each of those boxes. All right, so for the first box, I picked DC Mylar number four. And that's what I put on the edge of these boxes. But DC Mylar number four, so I just know that this is one of those boxes, and I kind of told my wife this as well. Um, these are the boxes that, you know, more of the valuable stuff or more of the stuff that's really sentimental to me or the things that I like. And sometimes it could be completely worthless, just have a cool cover or have a cool story. So uh, let's see what's in this box. First up is this really cool Supergirl reprint. This is an exclusive, like one of those DC exclusives. Got this from Alfred83 Comics. What a beautiful book. Next I have this Superman, Superman 204. This is signed by Jim Lee. This is the first in the series of Superman for Tomorrow. One of my favorite Superman stories of all time. And there's a certificate of authenticity. Really love this book as well. Another book that was in that box is Superman's Girlfriend Lois Lane number 106, The Curious Black. Pretty controversial, crazy issue, but it's uh, historically significant for sure. Teen Titans number 12. This is a pretty hot book right now. This is Dark Knight's Metal Tie-In. This is the first appearance of Batman Who Laughs. A few of the Wonder Woman books that are in this box are Wonder Woman 205. This is a bondage cover, pretty famous for that. We also have Wonder Woman 90. And this, I believe, is the first appearance of Artemis. Correct me if I'm wrong about that. And then we have an Alex Gardner variant in there. There's a couple variants in this box that are pretty cool. This is Wonder Woman 613. All right, and the last one that I'll highlight from this box is Zatanna number 11. Really nice Adam Hughes cover. All right, so this is the next box that I pulled. It's Marvel number two. And these are all the books that are in Mylar. And let's check this thing out. Avenging Spider-Man number nine, the first appearance of Carol Danvers as Captain Marvel, as well as second appearance of Carol Danvers as Captain Marvel. This is Avenging Spider-Man number 10. We got Captain America number 100, his first solo series since the Golden Age. This is Captain Marvel number 28. One thing I really love about this book is it's a double cover. Uh, I've never really had a double cover for such a significant book. There's a subscription crease right there, and this is a pretty awesome Thanos appearance. This is Deadpool Merc with a mouth. This is number 12, and it's an Arthur Sudam cover uh, um, paying homage to the Nevermind CD from Nirvana. Really love this book, pretty cool. This is Electra number two, it's a variant edition. I can't remember if this is a one in 25 or one in 50, um, but it's an Addy Granoff cover and really love that artwork, so beautiful. Here's a J. Scott Campbell Extreme X-Men number one. This is a variant by J. Scott Campbell. This box also contains some really nice Fantastic Four books. This is Fantastic Four number 20. This is the first appearance of Molecule Man. We've got this book. This was on my 2018 want list. This is Fantastic Four 36, the first appearance of Medusa and the Frightful Four. Awesome book, so glad to have it. And then Fantastic Four 48, the first appearance of Silver Surfer and Cameo of Galactus. Also just picked this book up. Second copy of this in my collection right now and really happy to have this. And then lastly, last but not least, certainly this is an awesome book right now and very relevant. 
This is Fantastic Four 52, the first appearance of Black Panther. Crazy awesome book. Last box is this independent box, and this is uh, box number two, so let's check this out. First book is this Miracle Man number 15, one of my favorite out of that set. I've got the whole set in here, and this is the death of Kid Miracle Man. Next book is Rachel Rising number one, really nice copy of this book. This is one of my favorite covers of Red Sonja. This is an Alex Ross cover, and this is um, Red Sonja number 30. And here is Spawn number one, the new stand variant. Also have the Spawn Thank You. This is a one per store. Last book that I want to highlight out of this box is this is Underworld. This is a one shot, and this is a nice Kate Beckinsale photo cover. All right, so for the last part of this contest, it's shout outs. So for the three people that I want to shout out, um, you've got Thanatos, that's the person that Silver Age Dave shout out. He's a serviceman, he's got an amazing collection. He's got a Showcase 22, so congrats on that, man. I hope to join that club sometime this year, possibly. Also, Creature, Creature, amazing collection, amazing knowledge that you share. So thanks so much for what you do for this community and the videos that you produce. And then also, the last one is Symphonic Elk amazing collection. I mean, this dude has got some really rare Star Wars, Star Wars mint on card figures. So everybody check out the links in the description below. Check out these people. And also last but not least, Silver Age Dave, congratulations on 100 subs, 200 subs, and about to hit 300 subs. I mean, you're about less than 10 away. So congratulations. Hopefully you enjoyed this look into some of my collection. It's not rocket science. I just, if I like the book, if it's valuable or, um, I, you know, I like it for my personal collection. It just goes into My Lights 2s, fullbacks, and into one of these boxes, either Marvel, DC, or Independent. Thanks for watching, guys. If you haven't subscribed, hit that subscription button. Hit that bell as well. You know, it's really important. Sometimes people miss those videos that come up, so that's a way for you to be notified when I upload a video. So thanks, everyone, for watching. Uh, take care, and I'll talk to you on the next video. See ya. Bye.